the evening, lovely people. Um, I thought I'd check in because I've had a couple of days of bed rest. I have been up today. Um, if anybody is like queasy stomached, then I'd stop right now. Uh, I've bought up a load of stuff today and it just... Big, big hard bits of bloody phlegm. And, um, oh shit. <sighs> it reminds me that I'm dying. Um, there's no getting past it. Things are, <clears throat> are happening to me and uh, it's because I've got cancer and I'm terminally ill. And sometimes when people are pissing and moaning about other things, it's hard for me not to say, shut the fuck up. It's really hard. Yeah, you know, I might I might have to have a Facebook calling because I just can't stand the pissing and moaning. Because if you were in my position, you'd love a bit of excitement or life or a night down the pub. Um I've written some stuff. God. I've written some stuff down today that I want to say to three people. Um, and I've done a couple. Oh God, I'm stuck on my sons. What do you say? What do you say? You can only say that I love you so many times. So I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning bringing up blood. And I'm really tired and I'm looking really pale. Which is probably because of bringing up blood. Um, we had our garden started today. Changing the subject. And um, the guys work really hard and I'm quite impressed. Um, so the front garden is no more. Uh, it's just dirt, which is uh, a lot better than what it was because it was full of weeds and, you know, sleepers that I didn't want there and a tree that I'd butchered and never grew back properly. Um, and then they started a bit of the back and found out that the electric in the shed has been put through a hose pipe and it's not safe for them to work and they're going to do it properly and get an electrician and they've also said that they they can't fix the shed so Dave's downstairs looking at new ones so that's just put a bit on the cost but I know that I'm doing it so that Dave and Connor as long as he lives here is is safe and they've got a nice garden that doesn't take any man, any any doing. Um, they'll be finished hopefully on the tenth of May, which is results day for me. Um, it was the funeral today of a woman that I used to speak to on Facebook. And her daughters have posted some lovely, lovely things and a lovely poem from the funeral. And I was glad that I got to comment on, on, on the post because I, I miss Marnie Teresa's chat. She was, um, she was quite positive and upbeat, and we talked about having trips to London and stuff. I think it was just us trying to make ourselves feel better in the mm, 
middle of the night. I feel so ill. I just feel so ill. It's like no amount of paracetamol or codeine or morphine or anything will take away how I feel. And I can't even explain how I feel. I'm not in any pain. I just... wasn't my intention to cry, but there you go. I'm trying to think if anything else interesting has happened. Oh, someone's got a birthday this month and it falls on <clears throat> a Sunday. And the next day is with some bank holiday Monday. So I'm thinking of having a do in the new garden. I'd have to get like trays of sandwiches and stuff and it'll be get your own drinks because Dawn can't walk very far without getting out of breath sort of thing. But I know the people I'm invited, they won't mind. I'll have it all laid out and you could just help yourself. Um I'll talk to Dave about that in a bit and I might do an event page to keep me mind off stuff. So it's cheered me up already. So I'm going to start writing these things now that I need to write and um, lie down and watch the snooker. I'll, um, I'll cheer up and stop pissing and moaning and um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.